I'm back. After 31 shows all across North America with Danny and Drew, finally back home with my doors and my plaques. <laughs> But yeah, seriously though, that was such a fun tour. Um, we had a blast. Uh, shout out to everyone who came to the shows and uh, it was a great time and I'm very happy that I got to experience that. And I can't wait to do more shows for you guys. Like my monthly show in New York City on the last Sunday of every month at the People's Improv Theater. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You can, any month, just come see me and it's gonna be a lot of good laughs and great times. Also, I'm doing a show in Albany on December 4th and in Syracuse on December 5th. Uh, so come on out, dude. It's gonna be lit and fire. Hi, sorry. I just realized I was so happy to be home filming that I forgot to give an extra greeting. Holy shit. Um, so here it goes. Hello, if you're new here, what's up? How's it going? And if you're coming back, what's up? How's it going? So good to see you again. I hope you're well. That was a close one. I also forgot to do a folks <laughs> clap as well. Those are the two things I do in my videos if you've never seen a video of mine before. Um, and I think I would be murdered if I didn't do them, so, folks! <laughs> Alright, back to the video. <laughs> okay, so since it's my first video back home, um, I feel like I need to go back to my roots. About a year ago, a little over a year ago now, I, uh, I made a video called The Internet's Most Obvious Lies. That was actually the, the first video of mine to ever surpass a million views. Um, so that video is very close to my heart. If I said where the video was, it'd probably be like right there, really close to my heart. And I made a follow-up to that video, um, but that was like back in like January. So that was a, a, a while ago. And dude, every day I get DMs from you guys uh, showing me like screenshots um, of lies that you see around the internet. So I figured it was time, okay? I need to complete the trilogy, all right? The, the trilogy. <laughs> Good to be home. So if you haven't seen these videos before, um, we're gonna look through a bunch of lies that people told on the internet for attention, and we're just gonna have a good chuckle at them together, okay? Because holy shit, they make me laugh so hard, and it baffles me every single time that people do this. Also, quick shout out to the Instagram page, yeah, that definitely happened, and to the that happened subreddit, uh, because that's where I found most of these lies. So go check those people up because they're doing great work. All right, ready, set, lie. Y'all, my son woke me up out my sleep crying and said, mommy, I know you tired of working, trying to make it better for me and my sister. I'll go to work for you today. This made me cry. He's only one. <laughs> okay, dude. Holy cap. Get it? Cause like cap, they're lying. And he's also wearing a cap. No babe, no one-year-old baby is gonna wake you up crying and be like, I wanna go to work for you. No, they're gonna poke you and be like, hey, me hungry, me hungry and bored. Give me hot dog and also my iPad. Now, bitch. This straight up just looks like they put their work uniform on their kid and was going to take a picture of them and the kid just obviously didn't want the work uniform on so they started crying. Okay, little guy. All right, let's put this hat on. I'm gonna. Mama's gonna get so many likes on Facebook. Here we go. Hey, why are you crying? Why are you crying? Oh, you fucking cry, baby. How old are you? What, one or something? I'll, I'll just say. I'll just say you're crying because I work so hard and it makes you sad. Okay. And got it. <laughs> nice. All right. Fuck off. Crying, baby. He do be looking kind of fresh, though. Yesterday, I was at an aquarium with my three-year-old son, and we were looking at rare fish species. My son gave one of the fish a cookie, because he said they were hungry. The fish ate the cookie whole. The manager of the aquarium saw this and shouted at my son. One of the fish saw this <coughs> and spit water in the manager's mouth, and everyone at the aquarium started clapping, and the manager quit his job. Oh my god, dude. Yo, no carp. This actually happened like no carp, fam. Cause you know, we've all been to an aquarium where it's just open and you can just toss your food in there. You know, that it's not like there's huge fucking glass walls in between you and the rare species of fish. No siri bob. It's all open so you can toss your little goldfish crackers into. <laughs> but holy shit, the most insane part of this whole thing, one of the fish saw man the manager yelling at the boy who just gave the fish a cookie 
and the fish got mad. So the fish spit water into the manager's mouth, and then the manager quit. Uh? On what fucking planet would that ever happen, my guy? Yo, dude, what happened at your job? Dude, I, well, I actually, I quit. Oh man, what, why, what happened? There was this kid and this cookie and I don't know. Long story short, I, I, a fish spit into my mouth and I kind of just quit after that. Oh my God. Yeah. It was like super hot. Oh, hell yeah. I don't know, man. Seems kind of fishy to me. Shut up! Okay, now reading people lying on the internet for attention is very, it's very entertaining and it's hilarious, but what's even better is when people get like called out for their lies, you know? So they have to keep lying because they're not just gonna come out and say that they lied in the first place. No, no sorry, Bob, they gotta keep lying. I don't know why I keep saying that. But it's the best when people get caught in a lie and they keep lying and make it so much worse. Like, like this one, for example. I also had a pen pal for 30 years, and after all that time, we both discovered we were next door neighbors, so we both spent a fortune on stamps when we could have just thrown the letters over each other's fence. And then we got someone calling them out on their, on their lie. Did you not notice the address? Both had P.O. boxes. I mean, despite the P.O. boxes, you would notice the same zip code, lol. Oh, I forgot to mention, both me and my pen pal, neighbor, have amnesia. Yeah, dude, <laughs> that's what you're going with, huh? I mean, the P.O. box answer was like kind of smart, I guess. Maybe that kind of makes sense. But to go from that right to amnesia? <laughs> oh, maybe this is how uh, Nate Garner and uh, his girlfriend met. I don't know who you are, stay away Wait. from me! Dang. Because actually, contrary to popular belief, it's actually, the, the, the number one symptom of amnesia is actually a lack of basic knowledge of the US postal system, so. And then like the minor, like secondary symptom is traumatic, irreversible memory loss, so. Now you know. What one did I want to look at next? Can't, I can't even, I can't even remember. <laughs> looks like, looks like I got amnesia. <laughs> hey, what are stamps? All right, next one. Uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> your eyes in your picture are obviously edited. No, they're not. I had surgery on them after a bad accident when I was seven. Good save. Well, I might be wrong, but I don't think Facetune owns any hospitals or had just, or has any surgeons on staff who will permanently put the the fucking detail effect on your eyeballs it'd be a great business idea but i don't i just don't think that's true right okay just a warning before we go in to see your daughter i just have to let you know that the damage was pretty severe okay after an accident like that especially to a seven-year-old we had to take drastic measures okay your, your your daughter's fine your your child is perfectly fine okay but their eyes just might look a little different. Okay, I think I'm ready to see her. Okay, right this way. Ah, what the fuck? It, it, what? what? Pull the plug, pull the plug! What do you mean? She's not even on life support. There's no plug to pull. Well then pull. put her on life support and pull the plug. What do you, what the fuck is that? Out? What'd you do? Oh god, oh sure, no, relax. what the yeah, fuck? I'm gonna, oh, I'm, gonna no. I'm gonna freak out. I'm gonna freak out. I'm not fucking This is me freaking out, you way too soon freak out, dude. Oh, what the fuck is this? Why did you do this? Oh, fuck. I accidentally texted my wife with voice recognition while playing the trombone. We should probably go grocery shopping later. Thumbs up. Woo 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 and it goes on forever. Woo 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 my wife. Okay, let's fact check it. Okay, let's myth bust this. All right. I'm gonna pull up a tromboner sound and I'm gonna play it while the the speech thing is going and we'll see what happens. Okay. Okay. So I have a trombone sound effect up ready to go and I'm gonna hold my phone up and see if it actually does it. <laughs> Nothing. 
I bet, I bet you feel pretty stupid right now. <laughs> Idiot. Myth busted, dude. Also, obviously, <laughs> I didn't have to do that because obviously that wouldn't fucking happen because those, those aren't, aren't the, the sounds sound that trombones make. make. That would be the worst fucking instrument in the world if that's the noises that they made, right? Okay, never mind. That would be the best instrument ever. I take it back. <laughs> All right, we got a tumbler one. These are great. Okay. Honestly, sometimes in school, people say the most ridiculous shit. And I make this face and look somewhere at an imaginary camera like I'm on The Office. My school has security cameras in every classroom, and I've done this at least three times each class this entire year. Today, the security guard came up to me and told me I was his hero. Yeah. Yeah, did he say that? Did the security guard say that to you? Did he? I don't even know if schools have security cameras in their classrooms? Tell me if I'm wrong, but I don't even, I've never heard of that. That's weird as shit. Also, if this is true, if this actually happened, then that means there is a security guard watching the security cameras in every class at all times. That's impossible, dude. Schools can't afford to hire dozens of security guards to just watch security camera footage from boring fucking classrooms, dude. Schools can't afford that. They can't, Schools can't even afford lined paper, dude. But your school afford, can afford lined paper. <laughs> Also, oh my god, if a security guard comes up to you and is like, Hey, I, I'm the security guard. Hi, I, I just gotta say, I love it when you make that little face at the camera, at the security camera. I watch it every day. I watch you all every day, all day, all the time. And I just gotta say, You're my hero. Oh my god, call 911 immediately. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm hiding naked in my closet because there are mattress delivery men in my bedroom and no one thought to tell me, so I was just doing my naked thing after my shower and then I was very unceremoniously shoved into my closet and I don't know how long I have to be here. I don't have snacks or anything. Who shoved you into the closet when you were naked? The mattress men? That's mean. Okay, anyways, uh, they shouldn't be doing that, but let's move on. Update. I found a chocolate bar on my shelf, but also my phone battery is at 20%. I feel like Bear Grylls. Oh, whatever will I do? I was shoved into this closet unceremoniously, may I add, and I'm naked. Oh, I'm so naked. I'm as naked as I was the day I was born. If only, oh, if only there was something in this closet that could make me not naked. Oh, Curse this life of mine. My guy, if this is true, you're a fucking idiot. Finally made it out of that closet. Now it's time to go to my dentist appointment. All right, now how do I get there? Oh no, it says it's a 20 minute drive, but I have to be there in exactly 20 minutes. How am I gonna make it in time? Shit, 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 shit. I, f I, I feel like Tumblr and Facebook is where like 80% of lies take place because it's either like moms who want to just post random shit to like make other moms jealous of how sick they are and how sick their kids are. So they just run to Facebook for that. Or it's like teens who like want to make other teens think that they're living this like crazy interesting life. So they just run to Tumblr for that. That's my hypothesis. Uh, let's let's take a look at a Facebook one. So this one is about like phones, I guess, using phones in school, so. I'm actually proud of my teenage son. I asked him one day if he took his to school and he said, no mom, a phone doesn't belong at school. Hey Kathy, sorry to break it to you. Your son's a loser. Sorry, proof is in the pudding. Don't shoot the messenger app. Don't you wouldn't because you love Facebook. If your son was in like a fucking fire group chat with a bunch of his boys, he'd bring his phone everywhere he went, dude, but. I guess not. How's that feel, Kathy? You got a lame ass son. Phones definitely belong at school. Fuck school, kid. Kidding. I use my phone a lot in school, but you, uh, just you, hey, okay, you can bring your, f I dug myself a hole here and I'm gonna stop talking. Let's move on. Let's look at a Tumblr one. When my mom took care of babies, my favorite story is about this toddler named Eli who took a while to talk and everyone was concerned about it, but one day my dad was like, Eli, can you say car? 
and he looks at my dad and goes, Yes, I can. Why do you ask? My ex-boyfriend's first word was, Mother, followed by, I'd like another bottle of milk, please. Kids who don't talk until they can bust out a whole sentence are the fucking greatest. Uh, it's a good thing that this is not true, because, oh my fucking god, that would be the scariest thing ever, dude. Have you ever seen the movie, Look Who's Talking Now? Hey, sorry, I got my movies mixed up. I meant to say Baby Genius is here. Ooh. Forgive me. Baby Geniuses. <laughs> Have you said Dada yet? Nah, that's so stupid. Say it, you'll go nuts! Okay. Dada! <laughs> That's a horror movie. It's supposed to be a kid's movie. It's supposed to be a family movie. It's a fucking horror movie, dude. It's terrifying. Babies talking? Fuck that. There's no way that a baby's first word would be a sentence that made sense. Like, what the fuck? Oh, now that we're talking about uh, our, our kids' first words, my kid's first word wasn't actually a word, per se. It was actually, my baby's first word was actually Hamlet's soliloquy. <laughs> so... To baby or not to baby, that is the question. <laughs> yeah, he's cooler than all of your stupid fucking kids. Okay, we'll do one more. My daughter kneeled down to pray at the cross in Roy's grocery. Not gonna lie, it brought tears to my eyes. Guess we should start going to church. Edit. She actually made me kneel down with her and repeat her prayer. Jesus, Jesus, thank you. She's praying to some soda pop. Come on, man. Like, it's... <laughs> it's one thing to, like, force your kid to, to fucking get down on the ground and pray to a fucking cross made of pop. A, 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 a pop cross. Pop cross buns. Pop cross buns. Want a prayer to a prayer pop cross buns. Like, it's one thing to do that. That's fucked up. But the even more fucked up part of this picture is that... That's Mr. Pib. That's Pib Extra. Ah! Hey, as far as I'm concerned, that kid's going to hell. Okay? I'm sorry. If that was Dr. Pepper, well, that's a one-way ticket to heaven, my guy. But that's fucking... But you're praying to Mr. Pib? Okay, you're spending an eternity in hell. That's all they drink in hell, is Mr. Pib. Sorry. Hey, more like Mr. Fib. Am I right? <laughs> Jesus died for our pibs. All right, I think that'll do it. Uh, in conclusion, man, I feel like the reason that people lie, they only do it to like make themselves feel better or make people jealous of them for some reason. Just like, just don't, just don't, don't post it. Cause it's so obvious all the time. But regardless, these videos are always a blast because this, it's so baffling to me that people will, they'll go through the whole process and be like, yeah, okay, this will eat this up. Nobody will call me on my bullshit at all. It's just, it's so funny to me. I love the internet so much. It's crazy. Even after the Black Eyed Peas put out the song, Don't Lie, you're still doing it. His name is Will I Am, not Will I Am. What am I fucking saying, dude? Okay, you know what? We've heard a lot of lies today, okay? And I'm done, all right? Let's start getting into some truth. And you know what? Truth be told, wireless earbuds are too expensive, am I right? But today's sponsor has the answer. That's right, dude. Today's video is sponsored by Raycon. If you don't know, Raycon makes comfortable wireless earphones that start at about half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds on the market. And that's the truth, baby. And unlike some of your other wireless options, Raycon earbuds are both stylish and discreet with no dangling wires or stems, and they sound just as amazing as other top audio brands you know. I've been using Raycons for a while now and they're amazing for when I'm editing because I can stick them in my ears for like hours and hours on end and they don't irritate my ears or make me feel uncomfortable after a while, which is great because that is an issue that I had with other wireless earbuds in the past. Raycon's latest model, E25, is their best one yet with six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design that gives you a nice noise isolating fit. The E25 also comes in new fun colorways as well. And Raycon was cool enough to hook up the citizens of Curtistown with an awesome deal, okay? So all you have to do is click the link in the description for 15% off of your order. And you'll be supporting me and my channel so I can continue to make hot and spicy videos for you guys. So it's a win-win. Thank you for sponsoring today's video, Raycon. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please, oh please press that little like button because one like equals one gallon of fish spit.
Mmm, yummy. Also, leave a comment, let me know what you thought, and uh, if you want me to do another one, a part four. I, uh, I usually like just, I like trilogies when there are just three of things, but um, let me know. I, maybe I'll, br I'll break that rule that imaginary rule that exists in my head for no fucking reason. Also, don't forget to press the subscribe button because I make a video every single week. And as soon as you press that subscribe button, you immediately become a valued member of Curtis Town. Curtis Town is the best place to live in the world and I'm the mayor, so you have to be nice to me. And that's the law. If you wanna see all the other stuff I do, you can check down the description for my uh, social media, my Instagram, my Twitter, links to my weekly podcast called Very Really Good. I'm gonna start filming my podcast now and then it'll go up on the Very Really Good YouTube channel. So I'll put the link for that down there as well. Also my merch down there. Uh, again, if you wanna come see me in New York coming up, you can grab those tickets. And uh, yeah, man, that's fucking everything, I think. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you next week. I have to go though. I gotta go butt chug a bunch of Mr. Pib. See ya!